So here we have our hygienic design. And for a hygienic application, simply being waterproof and chemical resistant isn't enough. To truly be a hygienic application, we need to make sure that there's no tiny gaps. So no gaps smaller than four millimeters. All the gaps in the system need to be able to be cleaned properly so that nothing can accumulate. The same thing for trapping water. Water can't be allowed to trap anywhere in the system to grow bacteria. Once we've done that, then again, we also have to clean the entire system. And that means that we need to be able to use stronger chemicals on the, on the system, the entire system. Everything needs to be able to handle that so that we can, we can clean the system properly in place without having to dismantle anything. Another key item for hygienic application is to keep all these cracks uh, non-existent. We put a gasketing between every metal to metal contact. This becomes important between the motor modules. So in the gasketing between the motor modules, we actually have a stator coil there. This keeps the magnetic field properly aligned between the motor modules so there's no gap in the field and the movers will move perfectly smoothly over this gap between the, the two actual motor modules. Another thing that we had to redo for the hygienic system is the connection between the motor modules. Every motor module can be an infeed module and accept power. So there's a connector on one side of the motor module that is either a bridge connector or a connector to a cable that brings in all of our, our power and data communication. Okay, so yeah, th thank you, Rob. That was a really fascinating look at the, the hygienic system and, and what a fantastic design. I mean, the, the things are, it's a work of art, Tim. Great job. <laughs> no. um, and, you know, looking at the design, it, it, it looks substantially different from a standard GFX where we, we've got the solid base plate and, and such like. Can you talk us through some of the differences uh, between the systems? It's more similar than you would think. The track system is fundamentally the same. It uses a very similar mover geometry. Um, it's just we've opened up the back so that there are no traps, there's no uh, chance of pooling, uh, access is good for cleaning, the joints are sealed, so it's not that different, it just looks very different. Okay, that makes sense. So, you know, if, if we were looking at, say, a, a food type application, that, then what we've got is, is effectively no nasty places for, for food to sit and, and go nasty and, and contaminate your product. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Um, we've, the design is there to allow uh, in situ cleaning. So whether it's um, low pressure washing, um, detergent and hose down, foaming, that's what it's designed for, is to allow that cleaning in place. Okay. And, um, you know, obviously you're talking about sort of clean downs, wash downs, and I know that they use um, sometimes some fairly harsh chemicals. Uh, what, what have you done in terms of the, the materials, you know, protecting the material from corrosion and um, from these chemicals? Well, the, the corrosion resistant coating that we use on the, all the aluminium components is very resistant to most cleaning chemicals. There are some which are more aggressive than others and abrasive cleaning is, is rather difficult to deal with. The seals that we use are on the main structure are silicon, so they're very resistant to most chemicals. Um, strong alkalis and strong acids are always going to be difficult to deal with. Yeah, yeah, no, I appreciate that. And, uh, and of course, I've got one of the, the sort of standard GFX movers here, and you've got a hygienic um, specification mover there. And I can see that there are a number of differences. For instance, you've got a cutaway in, in one of the surfaces. The bearings clearly look different, and, and it's a different colour as well. Perhaps you can talk me through that. Well, we'll start with the colour. The colour is the, um, the hard anodized coating, which is very resistant to chemical intrusion. As you can see, the bearings are very different. Um, they are stainless steel. They are sealed um, from the outside face and the inside face against flushing out of lubricant under pressure washing. There, you also see that they stand up. There are no traps around the, um, around the fixings, so there's no intrusions and underneath, so it, it's, everything's 
clean and clear. Again, this applies to the hole in the top, which means that there is access for drainage. So if the system is sat like this, you don't get pooling on the inside of the mover. Yeah, fasc fascinating stuff. And uh, you know, when we, when we sort of compare it to the normal um, GFX system, are there, there are differences in, in its uh, low capacity, the speed range and, and things like that as well? It is somewhat limited. Um, it, it's comparable to our normal small compact GFX movers. Um, the, the, it's not going to carry 10 kilos around a system, okay. but it will carry two or three perhaps. Yeah, yeah. so it's, it's definitely aimed at the, the right application in the right environment. Um, okay, no, that's, that's a fantastic look and, and an incredibly interesting insight. Thank you, Tim. Thanks, Alex.